Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to be back to filming a video for you guys. It's going to be a thrift haul or thrift haul, yard sale haul, estate sale haul, <laughs> all combined together. Basically a second hand haul. And um, I just wanna thank you for everybody who reached out and uh, said that you missed the videos and that you hope that I'm okay. I am definitely okay, I just, um, I don't know, some of you may or may not know, but I uh, struggle with um, mental illness and anxiety and stuff like that. So sometimes I feel like sharing <laughs> and sometimes I don't. So I was just went through a little bit of a, per a period of, um, you know, just not sharing and taking care of my family and focusing on the small things because that's uh, what I have to do sometimes. But anyway, I'm feeling good right now. So I'm back and uh, I'll just hop right in and start sharing. So. Uh, actually, before I do that, I do want to mention that um, I've taken a big step in my resale uh, business and uh, you can find me uh, on Instagram for my resale business, although it's not quite up and running uh, in terms of shipping uh, yet, so local to me can um, buy and I'm getting to the shipping pretty quickly, like not pretty quickly, probably in the new year. Uh, but uh, I am doing a show actually, um, like selling my vintage wares at a show in Ottawa. Uh, so if you guys are local to Ottawa or anywhere around there, uh, then I hope that you guys would come by. It's December 14th and uh, it's called the Cheerfully Made Saves Christmas Show. So I will link my uh, Instagram down below, uh, both my Gentle Thrifty Mama, because I share a lot on there, as well as the Collection Vintage. So that is the name of my, um, you know, resale store and uh, like online store. Uh, so you can find me on Instagram and eventually I will likely set up shop on Etsy. So uh, anyway, if you want to sort of be in the know, then follow that uh, link there. So with all that said, let's just hop right in. So the first thing I will share with you is, let's see, I think I will share with you the estate sale that I went to a long time ago, back in probably end of September, maybe October. Uh, I found a lot of Christmas, uh, not Christmas, sorry, um, Halloween stuff there, uh, but I've already put it away for the season, so <laughs> stay tuned for next year uh, with my Halloween stuff. But I also found some other stuff at that sale. So the first thing I found was this adorable, let me just focus there for you guys, there we go, this adorable dog picture. It's got like a little handle here, and uh, it's stamped Japan on the bottom, um, and it says National Silver Company. Um, Japan so anyway I just thought it was super adorable um, it's kind of worse for wear like it's pretty dirty on the side on the inside someone used it obviously uh, for flowers but I imagine originally it could have been used for um, you know it's a bit bid for milk but anyway a little picture <laughs> anyway I just thought it was very cute and I think I sort of paid up for this thing I'm pretty sure I paid $6 for it, but I think it was well worth it. Like, look at that little face. It's just so cute. So happy to find that there at that uh, sale. And then they had some die cuts and stuff. So I found, like I said, some um, Halloween stuff, <laughs> but I also found this cutest little flamingo die cut. It's like a honeycomb one. And this is it here. <laughs> So cute. So anyway, very cute. And then you open um, this here and it comes out like that. So I thought that was adorable and then comes down on the other side too. Although that is, there we go. Held up like that, pull it down like that. And uh, I don't know, I thought that would be nice for maybe, um, like obviously a baby shower. Is that a flamingo? Yeah, it is a flamingo. Uh, for a baby shower or something like that, but I don't think I'll be having <laughs> baby shower anytime. So uh, maybe if I plan one, or maybe if um, I thought I could just use it for like spring decor or something like that, summer decor. So those two things there, then what else did I get at that? Oh, I found this stuff. So I found a, a Tupperware colander. So this is it here. It's a bit 
Um, it's like a turquoisey color uh, and it and it should have come with a lid but I couldn't find a lid in the big bin um, that it was in so anyway there's no lid but that's okay I just use it to sort of like drain out pasta and stuff anyways I don't really store that much in although it's a colander I don't know anyway uh, I'm pretty sure I paid maybe a quarter or 50 cents for this and I thought it was pretty cool so I like the color so I was happy to find that there then I found these little forks that I thought were so cute and uh, mainly because of the coloring. So it's got like a minty green there, a pink, a light blue, and then black, which I thought was cool because, um, you know, I like black and I think it goes well with the pastels there. So they're just little, uh, you know, cocktail forks there. Just little cocktail forks there. And uh, like I said, the brand is Little Fork. And I had found some like that. Um, last summer or something like that at a rummage sale and so I don't know how much I paid for this but I don't imagine much more than a dollar so that is that and then what else did I find this box here <laughs> I found this box and I just thought it was so cute so uh, I picked it up and there were actually a ton of cards on the inside I have already gone through and gotten rid of the cards like donated the cards that I didn't think that I wanted um, just because I didn't want to keep them around the house if I didn't want them so I redonated them back to uh, the thrift store but I kept a couple of them the ones that actually came in them this one here this one here and that one there and they're just little um, blank cards oh no they just say just a little birthday gift and coming with it too are the happiest of wishes made especially for you so little birthday card and is this also birthday yeah all birthday cards and then I found these little thank you cards, which I thought were adorable. Um, sort of very vintage looking to me with the sort of branches there spelling out thank you. And then the little flowers. I thought those were cute. And then just various other ones. I won't go through them all just because there are a lot of them. What's this little pink envelope one. Oh yeah, this one I thought was very pretty kind of looked a bit uh, watercolory and stuff like that but I don't think this one is that old um, but anyway happy to find those little cards there so I'm just going to put them back in the box so they don't get my kids don't get into them <laughs> my kids are doing well Jude is into um, hockey so I've been a hockey mom also while I've been sort of off YouTube uh, taking them around to various games the other day we had a game at 8 a.m. about an hour's drive away from us so we had to wake up at 6 30 on a Saturday which felt all wrong but anyway the kids are doing really well then let's see what else I should do I will just show my best find over the past um, month or so are actually these two uh, bowls here. They are Amish Butterprint um, Pyrex bowls and they're just the little mixing bowls like this, like the smallest size. I think the number is maybe 400 or 401 or something. I can't uh, quite remember. I'm not well versed on Pyrex just yet, but there are two of them and I found them at my Salvation Army and they were marked a dollar each, <laughs> which is a super deal on these ones here. So happy to have found them which is crazy because I feel like my Salvation Army actually overprices things but for some reason those pretty um, you know decently valuable bowls were a dollar each so I was happy to find those and I snagged them for sure okay, so another thing I found recently at my Salvation Army was this beautiful bowl here it is like a casserole dish and I just thought the glazing on this was so lovely. So it was originally marked $10 but it was a yellow tag and so I got 50% off. That's how my um, Salvation Army does it. They have like tag days or whatever. So this was uh, $5 so I put it in my cart because it was so beautiful and I was like, do I need this? Do I want this? I don't know what to do with this. Should I put it back? And I just couldn't. <laughs> I, just had to, I just had to buy it. Because look at this coloring here. As you guys know, I love green and especially this type of green. I just thought this was so, so lovely. So the brand on it is um, Domit Ovenware. And I looked it up. It's not this like popular brand or anything like that. This is uh, vintage. 
Uh, they've been in business for I think 50 plus years. Anyway, they are out of um, India. So this is like Indian pottery and I just think it's so beautiful. And I had to buy it even though it was five dollars, which I guess is an okay price. I don't know why I was hemming and hawing about that. But uh, it was on a day where, I don't know, I guess I thought I didn't need to buy anything, but I had to buy this. So anyway, that was a fun find there. And then let's see what else I will get into some stuff from Salvation Army so I found this a while ago <laughs> I just thought it was so cute it says loving you happens to be what I do best and so um, this is it here just so cute I thought these two were really adorable and uh, it was a dollar ninety nine and so it is from let's see 1971 uh, w and R Berries Co, Co or something anyway made in the USA and um, I don't know I, I like that because you know in my life I'm not the best uh, homemaker I'm not the best um, you know I don't go out and make a lot of money I don't uh, you know I don't do a lot of things really well but <laughs> I do feel like I love really well like I take care of my family really well so anyway I just this really spoke to me I thought it was very cute and so I had to pick it up for a dollar ninety nine and then what else this I had to pick up it was three ninety nine so kind of pricey and I actually already own one of these but I just thought anything vintage at uh, the store uh, I like to pick up so this is a vintage uh, happy apple from Fisher Price and uh, this one here uh, is from 1972 and uh, I don't know I just thought it was really cute and it's four dollars I probably got 20% off actually now that I think about it usually uh, when I'm shopping at Value Village I've donated something so I get that little coupon for 20% off so that was that and then let's see now I'll go into a yard sale that I went to that is put on by one of the uh, high schools here in town and I didn't find a ton at the yard sale. I was hoping to find way more for some reason. I went first thing in the morning. It was still kind of dark and um, I don't know. I had to root around with like the light of my phone and stuff. But anyway, I found a bit of things, a couple things. And so I was happy to find them anyway. So I found two uh, Tupperware um, dishes or containers. <laughs> uh, this one is light pink. I just love the color. It's kind of being washed out here, but this is the color here, light pink. I thought that was really pretty. And it came with a lid. And then the other one here is this turquoisey blue uh, Tupperware container that also came with the lid. So I both of those, I don't know, probably 25 cents uh, in total. These things are really, really cheap. They don't, they're not priced, but the high school students are like, you know, sign off on prices and they're like, oh yeah, 25 cents, you know, 10 cents, whatever. Okay, somehow I was just editing this video and I missed some footage. So I'm just gonna pop in here real quick uh, because there are two um, items that got left out and I'd like to uh, share them. So speaking of 10 cents, like I just said, um, uh, about pricing the uh, kids <laughs> the students gave me these two peach candles uh, for five cents a peach uh, a peach <laughs> five cents a peach it's for five cents a piece and so I'm happy to find anytime I see sort of uniquely colored candles um, I want to pick them up so I found those there and then the next item is this um, vase here and there's a little story about this vase here I was very happy to find it uh, when we moved um, I lost a box of goods <laughs> you know homeware goods that I couldn't find and then I just the other I don't know maybe two months ago I was rooting through the attic and uh, my attic upstairs and I found this box and inside was um, this version like this vase in a really bigger version that we had in inherited from Dave's grandpa and I was so happy to find that because I was kind of sad that I couldn't find that when we moved like after we moved so I was really happy to find this one um, at the yard sale that um, the high school students were putting on so I just have them in my home sort of uh, one next to the other and they're I don't know pretty cute and I love them so happy to find that there at that sale and then let's see 
I think that's it. I will share with you one thing that I got from an estate sale, and this is an estate sale that I actually bid online. And so um, it was the first time that I've ever done that and it was kind of fun. And so I got a ton of vintage, and I'm talking like 30, 40, 50, 60s items. And um, I paid like kind of a lot of money for it, but these items were so cool. I just, I really wanted to buy them. So I did, it was kind of dangerous because when you're shopping online, you just can sort of like, you know, spend more than maybe you thought you should. But anyway, I got a ton of stuff. So I've already sort of uh, put some stuff away and shined some stuff up. I might resell some of the things, but one thing I am keeping for myself and it still needs to be cleaned up is this little owl here. I just think it is so cute. And um, it is like a little planter, but like a wall pocket planter. And uh, the only thing is, is that the ear is chipped. And so I'm not sure if that happened on my way home um, after I packed the stuff up or if it was like that in the photo. I tried to look back at the photo of the items and um, I couldn't really tell if it was chipped or not, but I don't really care. I, I just like the look of it. You know, I I'm not, because it's for myself, I'm not really after like pristine condition. Sometimes I just like the look of things. So anyway, I was really happy with this app, this little guy here. I don't know anything much about it, except that I can tell he's fairly old and he's super cute. So happy to find that there. So let's keep going here. What else can I share? Okay. So this is also from Value Village. I forgot to share this, but it is a huge, um, basket, like um, wickery type basket. It's like really big and it has this lid on it. So I was very happy to find this at Salvation, no, not Salvation Army, Value Village. And um, it was actually a really good price. So sometimes Value Village, as you know, prices are ridiculous. I paid $3.99 for this. So I think really good deal. So I snagged that up and I actually used it um, that day to like put all my purchases in and I walked out very happy with my $4 bag find. So let's see, last thing here. So I went to a, uh, another rummage type sale at a church. No, was it a church? Yes, it was at a church and I found a couple things. So the first thing that I found was this brass, um, I want to say swan or duck. I never know. I think with this neck, I would say, I don't know. What would you say? Swan or duck? I'm saying duck. Anyways, a brass dish here. It says um, Del Gia or Del Jip or something, uh, India. And uh, this was a quarter. So a great price for that. Happy to find it. And then the other thing that I found there was this sort of um, vintage uh, little sauce pan or sauce pan, I guess. Or what would you call this? Pot? Sauce pot? I don't know. And uh, anyway, you can sort of like heat it up. It's enamel and it was uh, 50 cents. So happy to find that there. There's no markings or anything on the bottom, but um, if you know me, you know that I do like enamel wear. So I was happy to find that there. And then I found uh, a ton of books. So their books were uh, super cheap, 25 cents a piece. And so I'll just run through mostly kids books, but uh, I found this book here, Nonsense Verse by Lewis Carroll. I just think this is a great book uh, for my kids to have. A whole bunch of different um, verse, uh, verses and stuff like that written by Lewis Carroll. So it has kind of funny words and I think the kids will really like that. So that there. Then this is a bit uh, like below my kids level, but it is uh, fun with ABC and 123, an alphabet and counting book in rhyme. A vintage book. I liked the illustrations. And so I was happy to find that there. Um, I thought this was cool uh, for sort of like the winter time and stuff like that. So, and also check that out. Is that cute or what? So happy to find that for 25 cents. And then this book here, let's find out about Easter. I was happy to buy uh, this book here because it uh, not only talks about Easter, um, like the real meaning of Easter, like the religious, um, meaning of Easter about 
Jesus and his resurrection, but it also talks about springtime and uh, Easter because we also celebrate Easter about sort of spring and new animals and bunnies and stuff like that. So I uh, really enjoyed this book here and I like that the illustrations were all sort of green and blue and I just thought that was really cute. So happy to find that there. This just fell out of it a little um, uh, borrow, borrowing card or whatever you call that <laughs> from the library. I did grow up with these. I don't know why I can't think of the name, but anyway, uh, happy to, you know, have that little there. Uh, last thing, something came out April. Oh, it's not dated, but anyway, I think that's cool. Then I thought this would be really cool for Jude. So this is a how to write codes and send secret messages book. And um, I think Jude will really, really like this. So just kind of how to send different codes and um, stuff like that. How to draw up things and different ways to send um, secret messages. And I don't know. I just thought that was really cool. And I think he'll think it's really cool too. So I may uh, put that uh, in a stocking or just a little Christmas gift for him. So that's that. And then I found this book. And... I don't know. I definitely remember Barba Papa when I was a kid. I don't know if it was a Canadian thing or what. So if you know who these guys are, let me know. But I definitely remember these books from when I was a kid. This one's called Strange Doctor Barbicarbonate. Barbicarbonate. <laughs> That's cute. So uh, yeah, Barba Papa. Um, I, they may have been French or something. I don't know. But uh, anyway, this is from uh, 1982, so the year I was born. So found that there, and then I found this Walt Disney comic book. It's in very poor condition, but I don't know. Anything vintage Walt Disney, I have to buy. And then the last thing I bought was this, Teeth, Tails, and Tentacles. It's also below my children's um, level, but I just thought the illustrations were super cool. I don't know how I'll use this. I may gift it to someone, I'm not sure, but really thought that was neat so pick that up for a quarter and then i think that might be it guys oh no two more things these are christmas gifts for my kids so hopefully they're not watching this video <laughs> but i found this at um one of the rummage sales this is aladdin the uh, genie from aladdin and uh, just a little stuffed animal excellent condition i believe i paid a quarter for this one and then this one i found for miriam for christmas it is um why can't I, oh, Elena of Avalar. It was uh, from Value Village. I got 20% off, $3.99. So found her there. I'll just throw her through the wash and it will be a cute little gift uh, for Christmas. She loves Elena. So that is that. If you guys stuck through this whole video, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Because <laughs> I think this is going to be a long one. I kind of uh, was a little bit chatty, but Anyway, I haven't turned the camera on for a long time, so I was happy to sort of uh, reconnect. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to see more videos from me, then please consider subscribing. Don't forget to um, go check out my Instagram uh, like my resale Instagram down below, uh, The Collection Vintage. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm rolling my eyes <laughs> on camera. <laughs> Almost done.